Yo, yo, good morning. Team Longevity, Josh here, bringing you another video here. This is just going to be a quick, brief expl explanation of the Plunder War and what I experienced last night and what I figured out, and uh, basically to better explain everyone's experiences from now on. Now, there is a bunch of stupid things as well as a bunch of good things uh, um, about this specific uh, event. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and say right off the bat that the, the Plunder War itself is a fantastic, fantastic idea simply because it's going to allow us to have some PK War and Fund Wednesday through um, Friday. Now, let's get, just go over the specifics. Basically, in order to take part in the Plunder War, you need to, the Union Leader needs to issue the Loot Token here. In order to issue the loot token, it costs a thousand kingdom fun, which comes right out of the treasury. Uh, in order to get that, you get that by doing the kingdom missions. Uh, you just need a thousand; very simple to get. Once you um, once you issue it, uh, a menu, a little box is going to pop up with the other kingdoms in your server. Now you're allowed to some uh, you're allowed to challenge more than one. You're you can challenge all of them if you want. I recommend just challenging the one that you want to go after. Uh, challenging more than one is um, a little bit chaotic. I, I did it last night. I challenged two. But to be honest, you just want to challenge one because it's only 30 minutes long. You don't have time to be going from kingdom to kingdom to kingdom to uh, be fighting with other people. So you just want to challenge one specific kingdom uh, for each night and just go after that one. Now, um, so basically... Uh, for example, you open this up, uh, you challenge, uh, say, Crystal Server or something like that. So you have from the start of the day, 0, uh, 0, 0, 0, whatever time, to 20, 100 on the time up here. Now, with that being said, after it hits 20, you can no longer make a challenge. So if you did not challenge or you did not get challenged from 20, you're good to go. Now, at 21, it's going to announce in, up top here, Cross Server... Uh, saying the plunder war is about to begin, please get ready, yada yada yada. Then at 21 exactly, you're going to get a little notification box here saying uh, EDT or so so something like that. And you click on that and it says, Are you wanting to join the plunder war? Are you ready to go? Or something like uh, whatever. You click it, you hit OK, and what it will do is it'll automatically teleport you to the, uh, the kingdom which you're plundering. Now, once you are there, there's a couple different things that you might want to know. Alright, first things first, this is the treasury on every single server. This is how you get gold bricks. Okay? Once you get gold bricks, uh, what you're going to do is you just come up to it, you click on it, and it's going to have a little bar down here at the bottom. Kind of like the uh, the daily quest, the, the, soldier, the so soul of the soldiers. It's got a little bar. It's going to say looting. And it's going to, you know, progress. Looting, 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 looting. When you get a full bar, without being interrupted, you will collect one gold brick. Now, you can get interrupted of any of the following ways of just getting attacked. Uh, now, Archer Scatter does not, does not interrupt you because they did remove that. But any other thing that hits you will interrupt you. Whether it's a direct attack from an Archer being um, on a bow or knives, a Whirlwind Kicked, a Two-Full Blade... A um, you know a twilight dance anything like that. Uh, it seems the popular method is to have uh, monks just whirlwind kicking. Uh, if you get interrupted, um, you will not get that gold brick. Now the one thing I did notice is that once you go to go back to the treasury and try to plunder it again, it will continue from the point at which you got interrupted. So if you made it halfway looting, you get interrupted. You kill that guy. You come back. And you click on it again, it'll start from halfway. Now, once you get the gold brick, TQ, for some reason in their minds, thought it would be uh, a good idea to only allow you to have one gold brick per plunder. Uh, per looting session, or whatever. Now that means, basically, what you're going to do is you come here, you, uh, you click on it, you get the, uh, the bar, you collect one gold brick, and once you have one gold brick, you can no longer collect another one until you submit that gold brick. Really stupid. I thought it was uh, a really stupid idea to do it that way. Last night I did it. Um, 
I collected, I looted like 20 gold bricks, but at the end of the day, I only was able to submit one because I did not submit them in between each um, each looting method. I thought it was very silly. Uh, basically, once you get it, you'll you'll collect it, and then there's two different ways to go back to your server. One, you can use the opposing server's kingdom mission envoy here. You would just go enter realm. And it'll send you into the realm. You run back to your server. You go to your server's Kingdom Mission Envoy. Hit Submit Bricks and submit that one. After doing that, you will then go back inside the realm. Go back to the server which you're plundering. And start the process over again. Really stupid. I know. Um, I think it's just barbaric that they would make you do that especially since coming in and out of the realm map is very lagged it's very delay and this is only lasting 30 minutes they should let you uh, collect a number of bricks at one time and submit them at the end of the 30 minutes okay with that being said once you're attacking a kingdom whichever kingdom which you're attacking okay when you go to that server they will be red named and you will be in the pk mode um plunder now, there's two PK modes. There's Peace, which you cannot attack anybody during the PK War, the Plunder War. And then there's Plunder, which only allows you to attack the kingdom in which you issued the Plunder against. Now, what does that mean? That means that if you go to that server, the, the people that are in the kingdom of the one that you challenged. Okay, so let me pull this up and give you a prime example. Uh, last night we attacked um, Turquoise, okay? The... Uh, this is the, the the leader, Heavenly Star, with the Union Prevails. Alright, so I went to that server. I plundered that server. And they have, um, you know, they got, they got their specific Union. Now, of course, in their other, in that server, there's another Union. Okay? And the, uh, the other Union that's there, when you go to that server... They come up as green green name players. Green Guild and Green Union. Now you cannot attack them. Well, I found out last night that they can attack you. Okay? That's really stupid. Especially since um, you can't attack them back. So you're going to that server. You're attacking the kingdom in which you chose. Which you can only, chose, uh, you can only choose the ruling kingdom of that server. So there's no way to issue another challenge of the different union in that server so you can attack both of them. You're going to get attacked by the uh, the opposing union that's also in the same server as the kingdom which you're attacking. So And, and that's really annoying because what they can do is have people in the opposing union or that other union that comes up green name to you and just sit there on the treasury whirlwind kicking you or attacking you or trying to kill you and you can't do a thing, uh, thing about it, which is really, really stupid, because that prevents you from uh, plundering bricks a lot. Um, so those are the few, uh, th a few important tips for the uh, plunder war and some advice. So basically, you're going to want to be able to take one brick at a time each time that you plunder it. Uh, you, you, you complete the looting method. You go back to your server. You uh, you submit it, and then you go back to that server and fight and try and grab another brick. Uh, I found out that getting pots is really difficult because you have to go back to your server and buy pots every time. Again, the, um, the pathing from your server to the realm to their server and back is very delayed for a 30-minute fight. It should be a lot smoother and just a, a, lot, a better way to get pots and all that kind of stuff. Um, the reviving methods in there, you have a couple different reviving methods. You have normal revive, which will revive you at the envoy in the, the south of TC, outside in the grass. You have random revive, which if you get shackled, uh, after like, you know, 30 seconds or so, I think it is, 20 seconds maybe, you can use this method to revive. Even if you're shackled, it'll put you in the back of Twin City. And then you have Instant Revive, which will revive you instantly, regardless of countdown. Of course, this comes at a price of 5 CPs. Uh, I did not use it, but it did say that every time you use Instant Revive, it doubles in price. Uh, so, for example, the first time was 5 CPs, and then the next one it said it would have been an increment of 20. So, it would have been 25 CPs, and I'm assuming the next one would have been 50, and so, so on and so forth. 
Um, let's see. I think that's it in, in regards to the plunder war. Oh, and you can see here um, who you're attacking. Today's plunder war. It'll show you here. Uh, we're plundering Hanging Gardens. So it'll show here. And then plundered will show who's attacking you. And also invading union will show uh, a union which is attacking you. And of course you got the button on the right side here that brings up the the, um, the box as well. Now I believe that's it in regards to it, to everything. You can use the other, uh, the tokens to summon your people to get them ready at 21. These tokens here. Uh, if you're getting plundered and you want to protect your treasury from uh, being able to be looted for three minutes, you use this. And again, the war starts at 2100. It ends at 2130. So it is 30 minutes on the dot. And of course, as you can see, you can see the rankings of the servers here after it's taken place. Like I said, we only managed to get 14 because that's 14 of the people who collected bricks but only was able to submit one because we didn't know you had to continuously go back to your server to do so. Obviously, Uranus did. Um, and then at 2200, the server will update. And if the, if the union in your server managed to get some more brick than the reigning kingdom, they will become the new kingdom. Um, so that doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon with anyone on here, except for maybe in Crystal server. Uh, they look like they lost a lot of bricks last night to their opposing union. Uh, with that being said, if there's any more questions and comments, please ask in the, uh, the comment section below and I'll answer them. Like I said, this is not a fighting video of any sort. It's just an expl explanation video. Uh, to basically tell you guys how it's working and how to, to how to do stuff because I know a lot of people including myself was confused last night but tonight I'm going to do it again and I'm going to record it so uh, look forward to tonight's video we're going to be plundering hanging gardens and we will see how that goes thanks for watching guys